standing here again with Alan Warren talking about his tobacco crop that he had this year and uh, how good it looks and, and what the poundage wise is this year and everything. Alan, tell us, just give us a little bit of overview about what from start to finish on. I know you've been battling the elements just like we have this year with the rain and everything. Just kind of give us a little overview of what you what you've accomplished with your tobacco this year. All right. Well, on the um, on the Burley tobacco here, I have four four point six acres, um, and I am east of I ninety five. So this is a non traditional Burley area. Uh, traditionally, Burley is nine, Highway ninety five west. <clears throat> um, some folks started growing Burley here four or five years ago, and uh, I picked up on it last year, and uh, I sprayed the tobacco at lay-by, which at lay-by is about knee-high, last time you plow. Right. And I put off, uh, on the whole field, I sprayed four ounces banded over the road. <coughs> I had enough soap to spray the back side of the field an additional time with four ounces. Right. When I say back side, I'm talking about the back acre of the field. The tobacco grew up good, it grew healthy, um, no disease pressure, no um, insect pressure. The disease, I actually got the extension agent to come by here and look at it. I, was thinking, I thought I had a lot of tomato spotted wilt virus, which is, can be a big problem in Burley in this area. Right. He walked in the field and he said, you don't need me out here, you ain't got no problem. <laughs> it was kind of like one of those grower things where you see something you worry right. about. Right. He, he shook his head and said, no problem at all on this. And uh, I did not fumigate the land, uh, didn't have any black shank, no gramma wilt, no disease to speak of. On the insects, I do want to mention that um, on the side of the field that I only sprayed once, I saw some stink bug damage. On the side of the field that I sprayed the additional four ounces to make a total of eight, I saw a few stink bugs, but the damage was very, very, very minimal. Right. If any at all. Um, the tobacco grew off good and uh, it grew healthy, big, tremendous, just just beautiful tobacco. Um, harvesting went good. It just made the crop good and manageable. I believe it It just goes back to a healthy plant makes a good and manageable crop. Um, well, uh, and you were talking earlier about how the, you know, it, how it cured out better. It seemed like it cured out better this time than it had in, in previous previous times. Well it, it cured good. Um, the 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 weight on the back of the yield in this area ordinarily if you can do two thousand or, or so pounds per acre, you know, you are you're, you're knocking along pretty good. Um, this tobacco is bailing around three thousand pounds per acre. That's a thousand more pounds than you would expect. Right. Um, if you put the money on it, you know, if, if even if you just say a dollar fifty per pound. Which it should be more than that, more, more really like a dollar seventy, dollar eighty maybe. Right. Um, you know that's fifteen hundred more dollars per acre. Uh, that's just money in your pocket, above than you expected, and that's the bottom line with anything. So with your two sprays that you put on, you put four ounces down on your bandit, you put it down twice for a total of eight. That's right. So you're looking at uh, you're looking at nearly a hundred to one return <laughs> on your investment. That's true. That's true. Um, next year I plan to spray. The same thing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be spraying four or five times. Right. Um, I'm gonna start earlier. I'm gonna start five to ten days after transplant. Right. And I'm gonna come back again the second time at layby. Another time before button. Another time probably after topping. After topping. So I I'm gonna be staggering my sprays out right through the growing season. Um, I believe that with those stink bugs that I did see. If I'd have sprayed it all an additional time or two, would have no insect not, pressure. Might not. And I can tell you this also: um, worm pressure in this area was extremely heavy last year. I didn't have any worm problems. Um, I did spray my tobacco with poison for bud worms, but I'm going to do that anyway because bud worms are in there, and you can't. Right. You, you don't see that damage until it's already out. Right. And, too and, late. Yeah. Ordinarily, a farmer is going to spray that anyway whether they see it or not. Right. Um, but as far as your hornworms and your your other insects, your aphids, no aphids at all. Never saw the first aphid in the field. What would you tell other farmers who have never used this product before? I'd say try it and uh, try it and and if you don't use it on all your acres, I'd, I'd say go at least try 50% and, uh, and spray it 
at least twice. And if you really want to see the results, spray it four or five times, right? And just incorporate it into your into your program. And I believe that you'll see your returns. Absolutely.